So last spring, um, right around April, my desktop computer died. And I was really bummed out because this is the computer that I had, I've had for like five years. I've made almost every video I've ever put up on YouTube, I made on that computer. And, you know, just, I was very attached to it. So it couldn't be saved, unfortunately, and I just had to let it go. But the good thing is, I have backed up everything onto an external drive. Well, recently, I took that external drive and tried to transfer all the data on it onto this laptop that I use. And I, I discovered that the drive appears to be dead. Everything on that drive, everything is, is, is gone. Every picture I have ever taken, any, any moment in my life that I took the time to pull out a camera and capture on film so that I would remember it forever is gone. Trips to Spain, London, um, Paris, New Orleans, S Sweden, Norway, just random beautiful days in Manhattan, my entire New York existence, gone. All the documents that I saved, that I made a point of saving and scanning and uploading and, and shredding the originals because I didn't need all the junk anymore because I had everything saved. My entire music collection that I've spent years compiling and uploading into MP3s and to junk my CDs, like, gone. Every video that I've ever created and put up here on YouTube and private videos that I created and kept for myself, those are gone too. No one ever told me that you're supposed to back up your backups. I, I never knew that. And, and I actually always thought I was the smart one because I knew to back up. Ever since that episode of Sex in the City where Carrie's laptop dies and Miranda's mom dies and everyone is dealing with loss and, you know, not being prepared for shit to go down, uh, I learned a lesson and I started backing up things just religiously. This is all stuff before Facebook, before Twitter, before any of that stuff. When it was just me and my blog. Speaking of, my blog is gone too. I forgot to renew my um, domain and after three months, the tech support just deleted all the content from my server. So every story I have ever put up since 2002, gone. My entire digital history Oh my god! It's very fitting that this should all happen right around the new year because that's what everything is about. It's about letting go of the past and moving on to the future and I am really doing that this year in a very profound way. One good thing that I did find out is pretty much, you know, the internet saves everything. So the blog entries, which matter the most to me because it really is, they're stories that I took the time to tell. Um, they're kind of still out there, you know, through archive websites like the Wayback Machine and all that stuff. Um, I can still find them and I'm gonna make it a little ongoing project of recovering all of that stuff. And I'm not giving up on that external drive either. I know that somebody in this world, maybe one of you, um, is a genius. Someone's gonna know how to recover that data. I just know it. So I'm not gonna lose hope. But I'm also not going to cling to it, you know what I mean? In a way, it's a little bit freeing to, to start again, it really is. Okay, so um, before I wrap up this video, I want to show everybody something really cool. There's this awesome company called Jack Morton, and I'm giving them a little plug because they did something really nice for me. Uh, they did this cool promotion where if you sent them an email telling them what you were most interested in um, doing, like your wish for... 2013. They had a team of artists working to create an illustration based on your wish. And I just got mine in the mail. Creative, and that's a little arrow um, for direction. And if you look closely, the arrow is made up of like an eraser, um, uh, it's a pencil, a paintbrush, paint, spilled coffee, and you know, it stands for like creative direction because that's something that I'm really looking to find and embrace and chase after in this new year. You know, this past year was amazing. I, I felt like I just grew leaps and bounds, you know. Not only did I become a lot more active, I started running. I did um, a couple of 5Ks. This morning, New Year's Day, I was hungover, but I got up and I went for a run. 
And, you know, I went to Weight Watchers when I've been on Weight Watchers for the last year and I dropped some more weight and I've lost like over 30 pounds and, and I'm still working on all of it, but like it feels really good. And there's a lot of other th little things that have just really made my year wonderful. But it, I still kind of have this little feeling that I'm kind of floating, that I'm not really sure what I'm chasing yet. And I came to Austin to figure that out and, and I really want to pursue that more creative direction. This is something that uh, I'm going to be going after this year. And I, I hope the same for everybody else. And um, yeah, have a happy new year. Stay tuned. Groovy! Hey!